everyone, Alpha Eagle here again. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well, and may God bless you all. I know I'm late to the party talking about April O'Neil being blackwashed, but I want to give my take. There's a new TMNT movie, and of course they had to go woke and turn April O'Neil black, but not only is she black, but she's also fat. There are some leftists out there that are gaslighting and lying and trying to rewrite history by claiming that April was always meant to be black. Again, that's a blatant lie meant to fool people into accepting this blackwashing of April. Eric July did a great video on this titled, No, April O'Neil was not originally black. To sum it up, these lying gaslighters are using a picture of April with a perm to claim that April is black. So according to these people, having a certain hairdo makes you black. Someone who lived through the 80s, I can tell you that a lot of white women had perms. My sister had a perm, my mother had a perm. Millions of women had perms in the 80s. Even then the comic April said that she got a new do and that her hair went from being what I would call wavy to curly. Secondly, they claim that April is based off of TMNT co-creator Kevin Eastman's ex, April Fisher, who happens to be biracial. He only based the name April after her, nothing else. I'll add a couple things that makes it obvious that April O'Neil is white. One, her name, O'Neill. O'Neill is an Irish name, hence she's white. Yes, I know that there are some black people with the name O'Neill, like Shaquille O'Neill, but the vast majority of people with the name O'Neill are white. Number two, she's a ginger. And not just in the cartoon, but in the original comic. The liars will tell you that this is her first appearance. No, this is. As we can see, she has red hair. It's a dark red, but it's still red. And the vast majority of people with red hair are white. So, of course, we'll get a lot of woke leftists saying, well, April O'Neil's race doesn't matter. It's strange that they only say that about white characters. Why don't they ever say that about black, brown, or Asian characters? Anyway, moving on. Like I said, changing April's race is blackwashing. Now, blackwashing is basically whitewashing, but in reverse. Whitewashing is when a minority character is changed to be white, so blackwashing is when they change a white character to be black or some other minority. When researching this video, I came across an article by health.com titled, What is Whitewashing and Why is it Harmful? There is an accompanying video to this article that sums up the article that we will be going over. It has music that I muted for copyright reasons. Anyway, let's begin. What is whitewashing and why is it harmful? Here's what the experts say. Whitewashing on film is the elimination or replacement of people of color. Add that blackwashing on film is the elimination or replacement of white people. Type is when people of color are displaced to put the focus on white characters. Again, reverse that for blackwashing. In a practical sense, whitewashing takes work away from actors of color. Again, the same would be for blackwashing. It takes work away from white actors. On a personal level, whitewashing can have a huge psychological impact. Again, what about the psychological impact of blackwashing? Unfortunately, it lingers due to stereotypes, media, and familial influence. Well, blackwashing lingers because of the woke agenda. Leftist filmmakers, for some reason, think that whitewashing is bad, but blackwashing is good. They're hypocrites, who can't see the double standard and two wrongs make a right thinking that they push. This is revenge, not justice. Continuing, it can lead to debilitating anxiety, <laughs> as minority individuals may feel pressure to look, speak, or present a certain way, said Leela R. Magnavi, M.D. Seeing white actors play non-white characters gives minorities debilitating anxiety? <laughs> really? Wow, that's amazing. Why don't these doctors say the same thing about blackwashing? The double standard is amazing. If a minority sees whitewashing in a film, they are treated as if they are a victim who went through some traumatic event or something. However, if a white person complains about blackwashing, they are labeled an evil, racist bigot. Amazing. Yes, this video was made by Health.com. Doctors are actually worried about the health of minorities who see whitewashing in movies. Apparently, minorities seeing white people in movies 
negatively affects their mental and physical health. Amazing. I wonder what this doctor would say about blackwashing. Would she say that blackwashing negatively affects the mental and physical health of white people? It's likely she would dismiss it or say that blackwashing is a positive thing. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I'm Alpha Eagle. God bless you for watching. God bless America. And I pray that people wake up to the double standard of blackwashing and speak out against it. <laughs>